Suzuki has just introduced its new motorbike at IGMA 2023. This motorbike is the GSXS 1000 GX, which combines a sports tourer motorbike with adventurous elements. Actually, the GSXS 1000 GX takes the actually, the GSXS 1000 GX takes the base of the GSXS 1000 series, taking the power and performance as well as the sporty driving feel. But the design of the GSXS 1000 GX tends to be aggressive, different from its true tourer brother, GSXS 1000 GT. So the GSXS 1000 GX has an aggressive design but still offers an upright riding position, good for touring. Research to find the optimal crossover riding position directs the handlebar grips relatively close to your body and positions them slightly higher. This creates a comfortable upright posture. The new handlebars also feature wider grip placement, making them comfortable to grip and giving you more control over the steering. Long suspension travel and a new seat design also contribute to a comfortable driving experience. Regarding the engine, the GSXS 1000 GX uses a 999cc 4-cylinder DOHC engine. The engine is connected to a 6-speed manual transmission to the rear wheels using a chain. The GSXS 1000 GX is Suzuki's first motorbike to be equipped with Suzuki Advanced Electronic Suspension (SAES), which regulates suspension settings electronically. In fact, the settings adjust to speed, road conditions, even when braking, sophisticatedly. Suzuki also includes Suzuki Road Adaptive Stabilization SRAS, a program that detects uneven roads, changing suspension settings while walking. So SRAS is connected to SAES, it seems more comfortable for long distances. Then there is also the automatic rear suspension mode, which adjusts the rear suspension according to needs or conditions. For example, driving alone, alone with a load, or in a vehicle, each has its own settings. This new technology provides a comfortable driving feel, reducing vibrations from uneven road surfaces. However, it still guarantees a dynamic and sporty driving feeling. Not only that, the GSXS 1000 GX is also equipped with various electronic settings. For example, the Suzuki Drive Mode Selector Alpha SDMS Alpha, which regulates the characteristics of power, traction control, to SAES. So you could say the GSXS 1000 GX offers a crossover motorbike that gives riders the freedom to control the motorbike. The technology is sophisticated, performs well in various road situations and so on. BMW Motorrad releases BMW S1000. This motorbike is called a sport touring motorbike because it offers superbike style performance but with the comfort of a touring motorbike. If the adventure touring motorbike is characterized by a duck's beak, like the BMW GS series, then the S1000XR is characterized by ant antennae. The front body part is like an ant's pincers, which makes this motorbike look aggressive and sporty. A pair of symmetrical lights containing four projector lenses and are LED, providing comfort when riding at night. The LED lights make her face seductive. Above it there is a windshield that is quite high, and has a high-low setting, although it is still manual. Behind the windshield is a 6.5 inches TFT speedometer which has become standard on the latest BMW Motorrad motorbikes. Then the handlebars use a typical width and height model for touring motorbikes. 
The middle of the motorbike contains a 20 liter capacity fuel tank wrapped in a plastic cover. The middle part of this motorbike gives the impression of being solid because of the large size of the engine and the left right body which tightly covers the engine area. This motorbike seat is a separate model with a fairly uneven position between the rider and pillion seats. Meanwhile, the stern of this motorbike is made slim, so that when the side box is installed, the dimensions are not too wide and remain proportional. You don't need to use a bracket to install the side box anymore, because it is already available and integrated with the motorbike chassis. Don't be confused when you see a tail that doesn't have rear lights, because it turns out it is integrated with a turn signal. So the city lights and brake lights come on on the outside, while the turn signal lights on on the inside. The idea is also unique. This condition allows the brake lights to remain clearly visible from the rear when the panniers or sidebox are installed. At the stern there is also an integrated stirrup with a mount for installing the top box. I'm really ready to tour. Starting from the all-digital speedometer, which shows the XR logo and motorbike silhouette when the ignition is turned on. The initial display shows a large tachometer with speedometer numbers next to it. There is also a clock, room temperature, odometer and riding mode. Press the menu button up, it will display the trip meter, digital fuel meter, average fuel, trip 1 to 2, average speed, rest time and more. Looking at the menu there are settings that display various conditions and status of the motorbike, sport then navigation, music and telephone if it is connected to a smartphone in my vehicle. What's interesting about the sport mode is that the appearance will change to a sporty one, typical of a racing motorbike with a larger tachometer, and below it is the tilt angle of the motorbike. Then on each side there are indicators for traction control and braking strength. The sporting aura is really strong. The heart of the S1000. The difference is that the engine for the S1000XR is focused on long distance riding, so it has stronger torque but less power. Power is rated at 165 horsepower, 11,000 revolutions per minute and torque is 113.8 newton meters, 9,250 revolutions per minute. The lights on this motorbike are all LED, from the headlights, DRL, turn signals and rear lights which are integrated with the rear turn signals. Another feature is a grip heater. Then the pro headlights, which when cornering, the light reflector will change direction according to the tilt of the motorbike to illuminate the inside of the corner. Then there is MSR, engine drag torque control which prevents the rear wheels from slipping due to excess torque when downshifting or opening the gas quickly, 